What's up guys, welcome back to the Anti-Gravity Room. Today we are doing another deck profile. We got the Fire, we got the Tournament of Power Duo, we got Ultra Instinct Goku combined with the Frieza Leader. It is nuts. It's a deck that's going to be pretty hot after the Mecha Frieza Errata, which is pretty much now. Everyone's pretty much doing it um, as of now, but if not, in a, in a week or two. Um, a lot of people are going to be playing Apes still with the SS3 Leader. So a lot of people want to do some sort of variant of Ultra Instinct Goku. A lot of people are doing Mono Blue. I don't really like the Mono Blue. I like Yellow. It's very controlly. It's very countery. So it just seemed natural to put the two together. And especially after reading the Galactic Emperor Frieza Leader, which, if you guys don't know what this leader does, he, at the end of every turn, lets you untap a creature. So... You'll swing in with Ultra Instinct Goku, and then hit for your three prizes, they can't combo, and then you untap it, and you can do the same thing again next turn. So at that point, you don't. it doesn't matter how many cards they have, because you they can't combo out of the Goku, so unless they have an early game pop on turn four, like a Beerus or something like that, or a Kale, it's pretty much GG, um, which is pretty good. Um, so anyways, we'll get into the deck profile, uh, I'll get going here. I play four of the Kind Saiyan Goku, it's pretty straightforward, it lets you search a card, any Goku blue, so you can search for anything there, one drop, straightforward. Play two of the SS3 Maximum Energy Goku, some people play, um, the draw one. The draw one's okay, um, but there's a lot of plusing going on in this deck anyway, so I prefer this, the dual attack double strike when you evolve on it. It's just key to getting those early game prizes so you can go for the Ultra Instinct win. Um, four of the dash back. Goku, obviously. Awaken, critical, double strike. It's a five drop to evolve on Ultra Instinct Goku, and it evolves for three instead of four. You can't go wrong with that. If you don't have these, just go four on that, but you should you should at least try to get yourself a couple of these. and Maybe not four if you, if you can't afford that, but try and get two, and then go two and four, and then at least you're not crippled. Um, I play three Ultra Instinct Goku. I didn't want to play four. I really don't want to see it um, in the opening. I, I like drawing into it, but if you play four, like I've had two in the opening hand and that's, that's like, ugh, I really don't, like one's enough. You might get two off in a game. If you do get two off in a game, that's cool, but like it's not something that you want to be trying to do a lot. So I felt like three was a, the right number. I play four of the uh, Supreme Kai. She's basically just a five, uh, a, a 5k. Pardon me, can't even speak. She got Barrier, and she taps for a mana. She's just a mana generator. But the cool thing is, every time you play her, she's tapped out the turn you use her for mana, and then the person will kill it on the next turn. But with the Frieza Leader, you can tap her for an extra mana on whatever turn, and then untap her so she's safe, because she's got the Barrier, and she's unrested. Or she's rested. So it, it, it's, she's really good. You want to play? You want to play four of her. Um, I played her over the objection because I just didn't want to be discarding cards. And again, with the Frieza leader, it just it just makes sense. So she's your mana accelerator rather than objection to get the Ultra Instinct off sooner. And then I have Senzu Beans and Wee Squirt, and that's about it for the the blue engine. The rest of it's all yellow. You play four Youth from Bulma. I went with the yellow draw one instead of the Majin Buu because I just wanted more yellow feed for. Cold Bloodlust, Planet of Vegeta. I just always wanted to make sure I had at least one or two yellow mana open so I could always play whatever. Because the yellow, there's less yellow cards, but they're more important. So I And I felt like if I had played four Majin Buu, I would have only had maybe about 10 or 12 yellow cards, and I, I, I wanted to make sure I always had yellow live. So I ended up playing the Bulma rather than the Majin Buu. And then that's the only creature that's not like a combo creature. Other than that, I play the Shugesh, Explosive Kid Goku combo. I only play two Explosive Kid Gokus because a lot of times, um, you don't, like, I'll have the third one on the side deck if I'm playing something, like, really aggressive, but most of the time, two two will do, and a lot of times you end up shoot-geshing, like, a Goku out if you, if you don't draw one in the opening or if you don't draw into one or if you're still searching for an Ultra Instinct. It's just good to, two, two's enough. I feel like two's enough. Some people play three. I, I don't, I don't play three. Two's enough. I play three of this. Yellow, self-awaken, summon it to the field. It's pretty straightforward. I was going to play four. Um, I just couldn't find room, really, to be honest with you. Um, you can play four if you want to get rid of, like, you get rid of a Planet Vegeta or something, I guess. But I just felt like three was the right number. 
Um, two bad ring lasers. So bad ring lasers so key. So I might up this to three as well by taking out a plan Vegeta because bad ring laser is like your win condition. So all you need to do is as soon as you get a bad ring laser in your hand, just hold on to it for the whole game. Just hold on to it until you go for your Ultra Instinct win because as soon as they realize you're playing Ultra Instinct, they're gonna just hold on to negates. You're gonna side in negates. You're gonna do whatever. And in, unless they're playing something to counter your counter, <laughs> the bad ring laser is gonna ensure you victory every single time. So you hold on to bad ring laser. Get your Ultra Instinct off. Attack with Ultra Instinct. If they do negate bad ring laser, it's over. And most of the time, they'll let those early game attacks because, like, if you put an SS3 down and hit them for four prizes, they're going to be like, oh, fuck yeah, like, give me my four prizes. I'm going to awaken and have, like, seven cards my turn. But it's still only going to be turn three or turn four. And then how much can they realistically play on turn three or turn four that's going to cripple you with four mana? Like, not even with 12 cards in their hand. Like, nothing, really. So they're going to play whatever, and then you can just Ultra Instinct on the following turn with Bad Ring Laser, and it's like, GG, have a good, have a good day. So, like... I like Bad Ring Laser. Try, I'm going to try and up that to three. I might take out a Plan Vegeta. You could take out whatever you want in here if you see something else that you guys want to take out. But you should definitely consider upping that to three. I wish I had, I had played three. Um, Cold Bloodlust. Play three of that. I have the fourth one on the side if you're playing something like Devastating, like Cell. Or like somebody is getting like cute with like Bobbity or some shit like that. But other than that, like Cold Bloodlust, it's, it, like, it's a good card. But like when you have so many in the opening, you're just like, oh, fuck, like this is so useless. Unless I'm playing something like Cell or something that's going to cripple me with like a single drop effect. So I feel like three Cold Bloodless is great. You don't need it. You don't need four. You could side in the four if you need it, but it's it's not really necessary. And then I play four Plan Vegeta, which is pretty straightforward. You search for whatever you need. Explosive Kid Goku, Shugesh, um, Self Awakening, yeah, Goku, like whatever you need in the deck pretty much except for fucking Bulma or the Ultra Instinct. So really good card. Again, I don't know if four is necessary. Um, again, because you play four of a lot of these cards, so I might cut the Plant Vegeta and go to Bad Ring Laser. Um, and then for negates slash combos, you just have the Senzu Bean at four. Obviously, you got to play four, or you know the old saying. And then three Weiss Coercions. Um, I played three Weiss Coercion, and I played two Flying Nimbus. Um, you could switch around whatever order you wanted. I just like having the energy active, and then I can pop back into a Senzu Bean if I need to, or it's just, I don't know, I just like having the Weiss version. I did have both, like, some people were like, why don't you just play four of one? I was like, I, I like having a little bit of each, just depending on the color that I need open, or whatever the case is, but you can mix and match that around to your liking. And then I played two uh, Time Patrol Trunks. I was going to switch this to Mass Saiyan so I could self-awaken earlier, and I realized that, like, this leader, he, like, he doesn't really need to awaken, like, he, he does his effect, like, on his first side, and all his flip side does is let you unrest two cards, which is, like, okay if you have, like, this and an Ultra Instinct, but unless you have both of them out on the same time, like, you really don't even need his backside anyway. And, like, the drawing, too, is awesome, but, like, whatever. So, I I opted to go Time Patrol Trunks just to have the extra draw acceleration rather than Mass Saiyan for self -awaken. Um, So, that's pretty much the deck. Um, it's got the Frieza, it's got the Ultra Instinct, it's it's fire against uh, aggressive decks like red decks, um, it's really good against th anything that takes life from itself, like if you're playing like um, like the SS3 apes, like you can usually kill them before they can get their ape stuff off. It, it's close, like, it, like you might not every game, but most of the time you can usually get rid of them. The only deck that I found this was troublesome against was other... Frieza control decks. Um, if they're playing like Mecha Frieza, even with the Arata, like Frieza's so controlly, and I feel like something like Kid Goku or Bardock with the with the resting, it it's gonna be irritating because it makes your Frieza kind of redundant because then you're gonna unrest your Goku, but then they're just gonna rest you. So I feel like that's a bad matchup for the deck. But other than that, it really doesn't have any bad matchups. It's good against Cell. It's really good against the um, Bardock. Not Bardock, Mass Saiyan, red crap that people are playing. I think this is better than the Blue Ultra Instinct because it's basically the same deck except you can call Bloodlust and they can't. So that's it for the deck profile. Check it out yourselves, switch it around, get it to your liking, and just uh, see the crazy Frieza Goku shenanigans. If you play uh, against the red deck, make sure you Ultra Instinct against that Jiren. Show, show them who's boss. And remember guys, if you like the video you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to help out the channel, you can always check out cardandtoy.com. It's down, the link's down below. And uh, you can use your promo codes for 10, 15% off. Whatever we have going that weekend, you can check it out on our YouTube channel. We'll usually post whatever the promo code is for the week. 
And uh, you can get any of these cards listed for this deck at that website. So make sure you check it out. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and take care of yourselves.